Twitter recently announced the rollout of Twitter Blue. This is a subscription service that has a number of different features, but one of which is an undo button for your tweets. Now, a lot of people have been asking for an edit button for many, many years, but it looks like this is about the best that Twitter is going to give us, a paid subscription that will allow you to undo your tweets. Now, a lot of people have been making fun of this, that it's not really what they wanted, but let me tell you a couple reasons why this is significant and why I think influencers are really going to want to have this undo button appear on their Twitter screen. So what does the Twitter undo button really get you? Well, what it does is it allows you to have a, up to 30 seconds to reconsider your tweet. It actually buffers your tweet. It doesn't post it. It doesn't put it out into the Twitterverse for another 30 seconds. Well, 30 seconds doesn't seem like a lot, but you can do a lot in 30 seconds. And in fact, I would say that probably you notice your Twitter errors within 30 seconds. You notice that you've spelled something wrong, that you have a grammatical mistake. You notice that you meant to put in a hashtag and you uh, failed to do so, or you failed to at the right person. And so 30 seconds is probably enough for you to recognize that you've done something wrong and correct it. But what's even more significant is because it holds this in a buffer and it doesn't send it out into the Twitterverse, it means that the Twitter algorithm does not get a hold of it yet. And the Twitter algorithm is what is deciding what gets promoted and what doesn't get promoted. So the Twitter algorithm is probably the number one reason why influencers will want to use an undo button. That algorithm, once it sees that tweet, gobbles it up, it decides whether to promote that tweet, how much engagement it might have, and remember, engagement is the key. That is the key reason for Twitter is they're wanting to engage you and serve up more ads. It's not to have a constructive dialogue. Uh, that would uh, not be synonymous with uh, Twitter per se. This algorithm has not chewed on it, okay? So it has not seen it yet, uh, and this way, it sees your clean tweet, your new tweet. If you delete a tweet and then post it again, well, it's not going to get as much traction. And I'm sure you've seen this before. I've noticed it on my tweets where I might have some uh, tweet that normally would get a certain amount of likes, maybe five to ten likes. And if I delete that tweet immediately because I have a spelling error and then repost it, I don't get hardly any likes at all. And I think this has to do mainly with the Twitter algorithm. Now, the Twitter algorithm will also prevent you from sending duplicate tweets. So here I have a tweet that I've just sent, and I try to send another tweet with the same content, and I get an error message. Something went wrong. Don't fret. Let's give it another shot. Well, Twitter does this for a number of different reasons. One reason is to prevent bots from kind of spamming the world and trying to manipulate their algorithm. So it's kind of a uh, initial catch-all to make sure that bots are not trying to manipulate the algorithm and make something more popular than it is. That's certainly been done in the past. Wow, I'm shocked, shocked. But it's um, also trying to make sure that users don't make dumb mistakes. But I also think what's happening here is the algorithm has already ingested this tweet and is already queued up or has been processed and Twitter has already decided how it's going to promote this or how much it's going to promote this. And therefore, uh, it's not going to promote it again. So I think this undo button and the ability to buffer things before they hit the algorithm is going to be significant in your ability to have your tweets recognized and generate engagement, which is what you're wanting out of the tweets that you send on Twitter. The other reason that I think it's significant is there's no archive. How many times have you sent something stupid on Twitter just because you were mad? And I do this sometimes. I get mad on Twitter and I post something out that is probably not professional or is um, suitable for the content a professor ch sees Twitter stream, and I end up deleting it. Well, there's an archive of those tweets as soon as they hit the Twitterverse. And 
While Twitter may not have those, there's lots and lots of other services out there that will, in fact, maintain all these tweets. So you've seen that before where somebody deleted a tweet, and, but there's a news article about that tweet because there are various places paid for or free services that will archive. So there's no archive that's being generated while that's buffering. So I think that's also significant. It allows us to catch ourselves a little bit. Now, perhaps for these types of tweets, we should have a three-day or maybe a 24-hour buffer, but all we're given is 30 seconds. So when Twitter Blue hits the U.S., I'm going to be subscribing to it just for the reasons I've mentioned here. Hopefully they have some other things that will be worthwhile as well, but I think that these are going to be significant enough that Twitter is going to have massive signups across the United States when it finally is available in this country. Thank you for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe, like, all that kind of good stuff. And if you want, you can find me on Twitter at jscottmo. 